Hey, Julian! Congrats on starting middle school. I'm sorry that I wasn't there to see you off on your first day. Thanks. Don't worry about it. You live pretty far from here, and you have work, so I understand. Well, yeah, but I would have loved to be there. If only I would have been able to take off vacation days. It's okay. You made it to my graduation ceremony. And thank you for buying me the school uniform. But I really didn't need the brand new one. Were you going to use my old uniform otherwise? Yeah, we kept yours just in case, and it's in pretty good state, I think. No way! It's been years! I'm sure it's nicer for you to wear your own. But school uniforms are expensive. What are you talking about? You don't need to worry about any of that. I'm making enough money. But it's the money you worked hard for. I don't want you to waste it. Besides, you just bought me a nice watch as my graduation gift, too. That was something I wanted to buy as a present. And it's not a waste if I'm using my money for you. Nothing makes me happier if you can enjoy your school and study hard. You are smart enough to make it to college. Well, college is still a ways away. I <laughs> guess you're right. But you like studying, right? Yeah, I don't mind it. I enjoy learning new things. I'm really proud of how you turned out. You were acing everything elementary school, too. You know that's not something that everyone can do, right? Is it? I just fold the textbooks. See? That's amazing! Oh, by the way, don't hesitate to ask me if there's anything you need for school. And are you sure I only need to give you an allowance of $20 per month? It's more than enough! I'm not planning on joining any extracurricular school activities that would cost money anyways. You aren't? Why not? No. Well, Mom needs my help at home. She can't do house chores without me. Oh, is she still not feeling well? Apparently not. She stays in bed most of the time. But she goes out in the evening saying she's leaving for work. Is that so? Still, I don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. Your number one focus should be about school. I will talk to Mom and see if she can help a little more around the house. But she can't help it if she's not feeling well. Well, yeah, but it's also not good for her health if she's not getting out of bed at all. You think so? Hey, Julian, are you sure you want to stay there? If you're having trouble focusing on school there, you can always come stay with me too, you know. I know my place is tiny since it's the company dorm and all. But it's big enough for the two of us. No, no, I'm okay. You're working really hard every day. You don't need to worry about me. But of course I worry about you. You're my one and only brother. I'm doing just fine. You worry too much, Christopher. Okay, fine. You let me know if anything happens. If you're ever having trouble or if something is bothering you, I want to be the first to know. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. Thanks. Okay, great. We'll talk again soon. <coughs> hey, Mom, I just saw your text. What do you mean you don't have enough money? I'm sorry, Chris. You know how Julian started his middle school last month? There were a bunch of extra costs here and there because of that, and we ran out of money before we knew it. I thought I bought all the things he needed for school. You did, but... 
there were a few unexpected costs for school activities and such. And he made new friends who want to do things together with him, and that's not free either. Julian said you guys were doing fine financially the other day when I talked to him. I think he didn't want to cause you any more trouble. He doesn't want to be too much of a burden on you. You know how he's like that. Well, yeah. But mom, I'm sending you $2,000 per month. I can do that because I'm living in my company's dorm. But still, it's already really tight to be honest. Can't you do something about this yourself since you're working as well? I can only work on days I'm feeling well. I feel bad, but I still need your help. If you are so sick, why don't you go see a doctor properly? I did, but they couldn't figure out what's wrong. That's why I don't know what to do. Apparently, there are more people like me than you'd think. From my perspective, it looks like you're just being lazy. Not just recently, since I was a little kid. I feel like you're not feeling well because you don't take care of yourself. Besides, you still haven't quit drinking either, have you? Oh, well, why can't I drink? That's the only good thing going on in my life. I'm saying there are things you need to take care of before that. Do you think you grew up by yourself? I worked hard to feed you. You are where you are because of my sacrifice. Are you telling me that you still can't see that? I was already working as a paper boy since I was in middle school, wasn't I? And I had a part-time job in high school, too. You did pay for things for me before that. But I was able to survive due to the free school lunches I received. Because Grandma was still around, we barely ever cooked. You have always been so ungrateful. I'm so glad that Julian didn't turn out like you. He's always been my favorite. I don't care what you think of me. I'm only asking you to work harder if you care about Julian at all. Oh, don't worry. He's receiving lots of love from me. Unlike you. I guess you don't need my help anymore, then. Hey. That has nothing to do with what we are talking about. You don't care if your little brother starves? I'm sure you guys can make ends meet if you work harder. After all, it's for your favorite son. Mm, don't be so rude. I know I wasn't a perfect mother for you, but I am trying to change. And that's why you're asking me for more money? Well, I know you're getting your bonus soon. And I know you. You probably have some money saved up as well. Why do you always have to completely rely on my salary? Do you know how hard it is to raise a child as a single mother? And I am not the cute young waitress I once was anymore. People don't tip me as generously as they used to. Oh... Thinking about our financial situation is starting to give me a headache. You are unbelievable! How much do you even need? Well, $300 will do for now. It's almost time for the next stipend from you anyways. Can't you try to be a bit wiser with the money? We still haven't been able to pay for utilities this month either. Fine. I will wire you $300. Thanks, Christopher, my precious son. Oh, and I wouldn't mind if you take me out for a nice steak dinner once you get your bonus. I will be looking forward to that. <laughs> I hope you were joking. Anyways, since I'm helping you out, I expect for Julian to be fed well. I know that. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. I want you to know that I am grateful and I'm not taking what you do for us for granted. Yes, I know. 
You don't have to be grateful so much, but please make sure to look after Julian. Let him focus on school. And please, don't make him do so many house chores. Yes, yes, I'm doing more lately, so you don't have to worry about it. I have to go, but make sure to wire me the money soon. Hey, Julian. Sorry it took me a while to get back to you. They put me on the night shift at the factory today. I'm finally on my break now. That's okay. I'm sorry for bothering you while you're working. Is everything okay? Did something happen? Well, it's your birthday today. Oh, right. Did you forget? <laughs> yeah, completely. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Thanks, Julian. I'm so happy that you remember my birthday. Of course. And there might be something waiting for you when you get back to your dorm. What? You sent me a present too? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it too much? No, I'm so happy. Thanks, Julian. I've never been this excited to go home. It's something expensive, though. That doesn't matter. I'm just happy that you chose something for me. Good! I'm glad you're excited. Anyways, I think I'll go to bed now. I have to wake up early again. Why? Isn't it Saturday tomorrow? Do you have plans? Yeah. I have to go around and visit the nearby bakeries on the weekend. Bakeries? You know how sometimes bakeries sell day-old bread? Yeah, I've seen it. Otherwise, it goes to waste, right? Exactly. I go around looking for those on Saturdays to make sure I have things to eat the following week. They're usually more than 50% off. And it lasts long if you freeze them. Wait, that's not all you eat, is it? No, that's not the only thing since I have the free school lunches. But I eat the bread for my breakfast, dinners, and lunches on weekends. You know I send you guys $2,000 per month, right? Why do you need to eat like that? Why aren't you fed properly? What $2,000? Mom told me that we're not receiving anything from you. I don't believe this. What? What's going on? Mom must be using everything for herself. She's using your salary? Yeah. Wow. She's always apologized to me about not having enough money. She told me never to worry you with our financial situation. Julian, is she home right now? No, she's out. I see. I guess she's out drinking again. Drinking? Not work? Julian, I'm about to tell you something that you might not want to hear. But I think you're smart enough to have noticed things already. Do you think you're ready to hear about what I'm about to tell you? Yeah. It'll be long, so I'm going to call you instead. What about your work? I thought you are only on a break right now. It's okay. I'll go talk to my boss. This is important. I know you're tired, but give me a few minutes to explain things to you. All right. Chris, no matter what it is, I believe you. And I'll believe everything you say. So please, tell me everything you know. Hey, Chris. You're supposed to send me my monthly stipend today. I still don't see it in my account. That's because I'm done giving you any money. What? What do you mean? What are you thinking? You don't care about what happens to Julian? You are the one who doesn't care about Julian at all. 
What do you mean? Of course I care about him. If that's the case, is he home with you right now? What? Oh, yes, he's not here now that you've mentioned it. You don't even notice if your precious son's not home? Well, that's because I just woke up. You just don't care. Like you didn't with me. What are you talking about? He's gonna be with me from now on. What? I know now that he won't get the life he deserves if he's with you. I only left him there because he was still in elementary school when I left home for work after I graduated high school. And it seemed like you cared about him a bit more than you did for me. But I was wrong. I learned it the hard way. Well, that's not true at all. I did take care of him. Then why was he living off of old bread? He told me that the only time he eats anything other than that was the school lunches. Not only have you never cooked for him, but you never even gave him any money to buy food for himself. You must have been using all the money I sent you for alcohol. I just can't believe how any mother could do that. You're a piece of garbage. You. Is that how you talk to your own mother? Who do you think raised you? I survived because of my luck. And because sometimes you happen to be in a mood to feed me. But mostly because I worked hard for my own survival. I was fortunate enough to have some other grown-ups around me to help me grow up too. But I know for sure that it wasn't you. Oh, don't act like you grew up all by yourself. A brat who doesn't even know how hard it is to raise kids. And who's been lying and taking money from that brat? It's a duty as a child to support your mother once you start making money. To pay back for what I've given you so far. I think I paid back more than enough. I've been sending you a monthly stipend for three years since I graduated from high school. It was supposed to only be $1,000 per month, but now it's at $2,000 per month. I don't owe you anything anymore. Besides, I was sending that money for Julian, not you. Enough with the nonsense. Just give Julian back to me. Not in a million years. By the way, he knows all about what you've done to me in the past. And how you were lying and using my money just for yourself. What? Why would you tell him that? Because I figured that he should know. I just want him to have a normal life like others. I don't want him to go through what I went through. I can't believe that he isn't being fed properly. You are the worst! Give me back all the money that was meant for Julian! Oh, come on, Chris. You don't have to be so upset. I was doing my best to not rely on you too much, you know. You were doing your best? So your best is to stay in bed all day and go out drinking at night? I was working sometimes, too. By work, you mean meeting guys online and asking them to support you? I was trying my best. You don't understand what I'm going through. I asked my friends back home to look into you for this past month. Everyone had lots of free time and was willing to help me out since they are still in college and not working like I am. They were more reliable than my own mother. That's how I found out you're out drinking every night. And other crap like you receiving money from guys you hook up with. Don't talk bad about what I do. I am sacrificing my own body to help support this family. I wouldn't have said anything if you were taking care of Julian properly. There are so many different types of jobs out there, and I respect every single one of them. But you're using the money you earn for your own drinking problem, not for supporting Julian. I was trying to make enough so that I can keep the stipend you gave me and use it for him. And have you ever given him any? You only gave him a small allowance of $20. And did you even try to save up even a little bit more money for him? I don't think so. I don't even want to look at your 
face anymore. Christopher, calm down. I am calm, Mom. I just know now that I should never trust anything you say. I will never forgive you for this. Chris, I understand that Julian will stay with you for now, but I won't be able to survive if you suddenly stop sending me money. Can't you at least keep helping me for a little longer? I promise I'll do something during that time to ensure I can start supporting myself. You would have done that already if that's something you can do. I don't want to have anything to do with you ever again. Please, Christopher, you can't do this to me. Are you going to abandon me like your father did? He shouldn't have left us like that, ignoring all his responsibilities. But he's so much better than you in a sense that he never asked me for any money. Chris, I want you to know that I do love you from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you everything that you deserved, but I was just doing my best to survive. Then you should have let us go. What? I would have much rather preferred to have grown up in an orphanage. Anywhere would have been better than staying with you. That's a horrible thing to say. You only kept us because you knew that you could get more financial support that way. The government helps you because you're a single mother. And you knew that you can ask me to help support Julian once I start working. You should never have had any children if you only look at us as money trees. That's really not true, Chris. I do love both of you so much. Well, unfortunately, it did never seem that way. Everyone else treated me way nicer than you ever did. I will be a better mother from now on. Listen, I have an idea. Why don't we all move into your place as a family? That way, I can do things that I couldn't do in the past for the two of you. We don't need you. Oh, I'm sure you don't mean that. I'm your only mother. You don't seriously want to abandon me, do you? You abandoned us first, Mom. This is enough. We'll ever forget we even had a mother. <coughs> they say you can't choose your parents, but we do have the choice to cut them out of our lives. Since then, she tried reaching out to us a few times, but we kept ignoring her. And she must have gotten contacted by child services because she stopped bothering us after that. I wasn't able to get full legal custody of Julian because his mother is still alive. But child services agree that it's better for him to stay with me considering our family situation. And I heard a rumor that mom skipped town after we stopped hearing from her. She probably couldn't pay for her rent anymore and decided to bail. We received a voice message from a public phone, and I think it was our mother. But we stopped listening and deleted the message as soon as we realized that it could be from her. Wherever she is and whatever she's doing, it has nothing to do with us whatsoever. So we really don't need to hear what she has to say. Sometimes I wonder if I did the right thing for my brother. I told him that he might never be able to see his mom ever again if he comes with me. But he still chose to be with me. I want to respect his decision. And I'll do my best to forget about mom and everything that has happened. Of course, he has his own choice to look for her once he's grown up. But I have no intention to help her no matter what state she's in. I rented a small apartment near my work, and that's where Julian and I both live right now. He did have to switch schools, but he made new friends right away, and I think he settled in nicely. I can't say we have lots of money, but I think we have just enough to live comfortably, especially now that I don't need to send any money to anyone. We take turns on the house chores, and he often cooks dinner for us. He's been a great help every day. But I want him to enjoy being a kid to the fullest. So I'm going to make sure that I don't rely on him too much and give him the life that he always deserved. 
But of course, what should matter the most is what he wants for himself. So we'll keep communicating with each other and decide what kind of life we want to have. Just like we always dreamed of. I will also ensure I don't ever take people who choose to help us for granted. Like the people who helped me in my youth. I am so grateful to those people that I promise myself that I will keep living honestly. And help anyone who might need it like I needed it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.